working in this place I worship you I worship you
Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born with water and the Spirit. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Hello kids, welcome to Sunday Worship. I have been waiting all week to worship with you guys. How about you guys? Well, we are gathered here together. I know you guys are still in your home worshiping, but let's still give God our full attention, our full energy, and our full respect because God is right here with us, ready to receive our worship. So let's put our hands together and we are going to close our eyes and pray. Lord Father, we thank you so much that we get to worship you. 
all together father i pray that you would help us to understand your words i pray that you would help us to know that your words are true father god be with us give us wisdom and give us your love so that after we receive your words lord we want to go out and tell the world that you are our savior lord we thank you and in jesus name we pray amen before i begin with the service i want to sing to you guys happy birthday to you cha 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 happy birthday to you cha 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 happy birthday dear someone out there Happy birthday to you! Yay! Do any of you guys have a birthday this week? I wish it's my birthday. I wish it's my birthday every month. How many of you guys say, I hate birthday? I haven't seen anyone who doesn't like birthday. Hey, did you know that God's people have two birthdays? I was born in May, but I became born again Christian around this month. Some of you guys are asking, What do you mean, born again? Did you actually go back inside your mommy's tummy? I know a guy in the Bible who asked the same question. Let's dig into our Bible story right now. Jesus went to many different places to talk to many people about God's kingdom. Some people were amazed at Jesus' teaching while others were not so happy about it. One day after sundown, a religious man came to see Jesus and his name was Nicodemus. Hi, my name is Nicodemus. He was a Pharisee, which means he studied and taught God's law. And he tried very hard to obey all the laws. He came in the night to speak to Jesus. He asked, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God. You are a teacher, and no one could do the miracles you do unless God is with him. And Jesus told him, Unless someone is born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Instead of talking about what Nicodemus asked, Jesus jumped right into what Nicodemus was really thinking in his head. Now Nicodemus was confused because he was really good at keeping all the laws. He made sure that all the laws that was written were strictly followed. Nicodemus believed that following all the law was the way to go to heaven. Jesus turned his belief upside down and started teaching. He asked, How can someone be born again when he is old? Jesus told him that when a person is born physically, they live, but their life doesn't last forever. Have you ever seen anyone who lives forever? But the Spirit gives people spiritual life so, that, so they can live with God forever. Basically, Jesus was telling Nicodemus that he needed to be born again, born of the Spirit through Jesus, which means to believe that Jesus came to save. Keeping all the laws will not make him go to heaven. Jesus continued to teach Nicodemus about God's greatest rescue plan. And a lot of us are very familiar with the Bible verse that I'm about to read to you guys. So listen very carefully. This Bible verse comes from John chapter 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. God didn't send his Son Jesus to declare the world guilty, but to save the world. 
Boys and girls, do you guys believe that Jesus came to save us? Do you want to be born again by trusting in God's rescue plan and believe that Jesus is your Savior? Let me tell you guys the truth. God sent Jesus to this world. The only way for us to have eternal life in heaven with God is by believing that Jesus died on the cross on our behalf to wash away all our sins. With our sin, we cannot go to heaven. Jesus died and rose again. And this is the truth. Some people may say, Hey, yo, Pastor Hine, I am so good. I listen to my parents and I read Bible every day and I try to keep all of God's commandments. I'm just really good. Do I really have to believe and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior? Boys and girls, when we are born, we are born with sin. Doesn't matter if you are a baby who was just born, doesn't matter if you're a grown up, we all have sin. If God didn't give us a rescue plan, we would all be in big, big, big trouble. But God loves us so much that He didn't want His children to be left alone, He didn't want His children to die forever and so he sent a rescue plan to us and by jesus dying on the cross he suffered and died on the cross on our behalf jesus didn't come to this world to say you guys are so guilty you guys are so bad and because of all the things that you guys are doing you guys are doomed you guys are in trouble <laughs> Jesus didn't come to, to say this, but he came to rescue God's people. God's greatest rescue plan, his grace, the salvation is already given to us. Now it's your decision to accept the gift. Boys and girls, I pray and I ask you guys to know the truth and believe in Jesus. Accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior and ask Him to forgive your sins. Boys and girls, only way for us to have eternal life in heaven with God, only way for us to be born again Christian is through Jesus Christ. So if you haven't made a decision to follow Jesus, I want you guys to do that today. So let's close our eyes and we are going to pray and we're going to ask God to forgive us of all our sins and we are going to say Jesus I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again please come and forgive me of all my sins starting from right now starting from today I want to live my life for you Help us to be born again. That's the prayer that we're going to pray. So, so let's all pray together. Father God, we thank you so much for your words. Father, we thank you that you love us so much that you sent your one and only Son to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, we know and believe that Jesus is our Savior. Father God, I pray that you would open up the hearts of those who's listening to this message, Lord, and help them to accept you as their personal Lord and Savior and know that you are our loving Father, that only through Jesus Christ 
we can be born again. Father, we thank you so much for your awesome, awesome words. Father, use our lips. Use our actions to tell other people how great you are. Lord, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, happy spiritual birthday to you guys! Woohoo! All right, that's it for today. And we are going to end our service with Lord's Prayer. So let's close our eyes. We are going to say Lord's Prayer all together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.